So today I'm talking about a P0119 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0119 code? Well, it's an engine coolant temperature sensor one circuit intermittent. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called an engine coolant temperature sensor or ECT sensor. That's just reporting back to the computer what the temperature of the engine is. But when you get this P0119 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this sensor. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about these engine coolant temperature sensors is that there can be just one sensor, but sometimes there could be two or even three sensors. It's really going to vary. So if you do go to work on a vehicle with the P0119 code, it's going to be a good idea to get a diagram where all these sensors are located and what's going on with that particular vehicle. Because keep in mind, sometimes there can be more than one engine coolant temperature sensor. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0119 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that there's some kind of problem going on with the engine, that it's overheating or it's low on coolant or something like that. The coolant inside the engine is flowing past these engine coolant temperature sensors. And so, for example, say the engine coolant level's low, then that can throw these sensors off, that can cause problems. Usually if the engine is overheating, it's fairly obvious. The engine might even be running badly or something like that. But basically keep in mind that the engine is overheating, that can throw these sensors off. The next thing that could cause this is a bad engine coolant temperature sensor number one. That sensor might have just gone bad and just need to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. If you have an OBD2 scan tool, you can't just go and check and see what the readings are. You check to see what the readings are when the engine's cold. For example, right here, if the engine's cold and it's like 70 degrees outside and that temperature sensor is reading 129 degrees Fahrenheit, then there's some kind of problem going on with that sensor. These engine coolant temperature sensors are what's called a thermistor, which basically is a resistor whose resistance values change when the temperature changes. So you can also use a multimeter to go and test these sensors. And basically to do that, you go look up what the specifications are for that engine coolant temperature sensor for that vehicle, because there can be differences between these sensors. So for example, here's the engine coolant temperature sensor specifications for a 2012 Toyota Corolla. And when the temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, that sensor should be reading between 2,000 and 3,000 ohms. And if it's not, if it's outside of this, if it's higher or lower or anything like that, then you know it's bad and you know it needs to be replaced. So if you could get the specifications for that engine coolant temperature sensor for that vehicle, then you can use a multimeter to go and test it. Because the next thing that could cause this is a bad engine coolant temperature sensor number one. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to that sensor. Basically, if there's any kind of problem with the wiring, if there's an open, there's a short, it's got a bad connection, something like that, then that's going to cause problems. If you do go to check the wiring, it's always a good idea to get a diagram and the wiring schematics for that particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But it is very common for 5 volts to be going to these sensors. So on one wire, you should be getting 5 volts. And then as the voltage goes through the sensor, it's going to change as it comes out the other side. And a signal wire is going to be going back to the computer and that's reporting this voltage change. And the computer could do its calculations and know what the temperature of the engine is. So if you have a multimeter, you can go and check it. Be sure you're getting 5 volts to it. And you can also test the signal wire going back to the computer and be sure it's good. It's also a good idea to go check for any blown fuses or possibly a bad relay or anything like that. And again, this can vary. It'll depend on the vehicle. There can be differences in the wiring and things like that. But the next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of issue with the wiring going to that engine coolant temperature sensor number one. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0119 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.